look at all the snow. I mean, we got like 15 inches of snow out here. It's freaking nuts. But today's the day the first gen finally ships. It is the day resto gen leaves. It's time to say our goodbyes. It'll be one year, March 5th, when I bought this truck. One year ago, March 5th. So we're coming up. I mean, we're real close. Almost one year project right here. That's actually a very long project for us. Usually we don't keep trucks very long. And this is probably now the longest I've ever owned. Um, before that, my Silver Dually was the longest truck I've ever owned. And that was nine months. This is topped at now. This is officially the longest I've ever owned a vehicle, but probably the least I've ever driven a vehicle. Just because most of the time that I you know, had the truck, it was in the paint booth or it was in the shop, you know, putting swapping the bed and the fenders and the doors and all this other stuff. Or it was putting interior in or fixing the interior because it had no interior for, you know, a couple months, you know, stuff like that. It's finally where we want it in terms of mechanics and drivability and all that stuff. And the way that it worked out with delays and everything else, I just never got much time to actually enjoy it. Corey's going to have a heck of a time with it, I'm sure. Enjoy the truck, man. It was a good one while it lasted and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. And also, we have a huge giveaway announcement, new giveaway that goes live. It's supposed it's supposed to, as long as everything goes through with the legal paperwork and all that stuff just fine, which usually does, but you never know. We have a new giveaway starting on Monday, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you what vehicle it is. You have not seen it on the channel super recently. You have caught a glimpse of it before. You're just gonna have to stay tuned and wait. But we have a new giveaway planned. It starts Monday, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. It's gonna be freaking sweet. I think a lot of you are gonna really, really love this. I'm gonna try one of these giveaways here where you don't see the vehicle building up to it, and you have no freaking clue what vehicle it's gonna be, and see if that uh, gets any more excitement going, because it's gonna be different. I'm gonna make you guys wait till the day it starts. There it goes. Headed off to Oklahoma. Okay guys, I'm not wearing the mask because of the COVID. I'm not really too concerned about it. In fact, I'm probably one of the only people around here that walks around and I've never got one on. I get all the weirdest looks. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. I mean, it's one of those one of those weird times we're living in that if you're wanting to try to keep your rights and your freedoms, you get funny looks. It's like people don't get it anymore. It's freezing cold out today, so I'm trying to save my face a little bit so my nose doesn't turn red and fall off. We're out here working on the 24 valve today. Thank you so much to everybody that entered to win that truck by placing orders on the website. You guys who place those orders, that is how we can pay for these trucks to give them away. I just want you guys to fully understand that and I'm gonna make this very clear. I'm not just somebody that's got millions of dollars laying around and I've got so much money that I'm just trying to give, get rid of stuff because I just have too much money I need to burn. The reason I do this is this is how I make a living. Just the legal paperwork to give away one of these trucks is almost $4,000 and that's just so you don't get sued by running in a legal giveaway or end up in prison or fined or anything else. So just the paperwork costs that much. Then you have to factor the cost of the truck the cost of the repaint on this one, the wheels and tires on this one, the suspension, paying somebody to install the suspension, you know, the new fuel lines, the new transmission lines. There's a lot of bills that go into that. It's very expensive. Now, I'm not trying to make this a pity party, like, oh, buy my stuff, it costs a lot of money and whatever. We, we do fine, but what I'm saying is, just, just understand that it's not, it's not everything is what it seems, you know? That's why those orders are so appreciated and so valued, because without those orders, this kind of stuff, getting sent off to somebody for the price of a hat, it can't happen. If you look at this thing, you'll notice there's no front drive shaft. We do have it. We actually got new U-joints put in it, but essentially what was happening is the knuckles were rubbing on themselves when the front drive shaft was turning. Not bad, but just enough to be dangerous and uh, it could end up damaging your front drive shaft. So we ended up taking it out for now. The truck's actually been getting around decent in the two wheel drive anyway, but um, we ended up taking it out. And the reason for that is because we didn't want to damage anything. But Devin told me that it's a very simple fix and he told me how to fix it. So we're gonna try to put this front drive shaft back on, do what he instructed me to do and uh, hopefully it works out. Four hours later, not really 
Not really a whole lot of any kind of progress in terms of fixing the issue that we were having with the four-wheel drive. It's so irritating because it's such a simple fix, um, but I do not have all of the tools necessary to be able to get this job done in here. So I'm still gonna try. I put some PB Blast on those bolts, on those upper and lower control arm bolts that are mounted to the brackets on the axle because the lower control arms actually did not even have to be unbolted to install the lift kit on this thing. Therefore, they have not yet been broken loose. So that's gonna be fun. Let me show you what I did get done. Um, I did get the front drive shaft at least put back in the truck, as you can see. Right there she is. She's back in there. There was no issue with that connection there. The only issue is that it's just hardly, I mean just hardly rubbing on itself when it rotates. Uh, the essential, I don't know what the actual term is for this, but the knuckles coming off the transfer case, there's two different sets there, and when it rotates, they're just hardly rubbing on each other to where you kind of hear a little tick, tick, tick when you're going down the road. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in two wheel or four wheel, that spins, it just doesn't put power to it, obviously, unless you engage it in a four wheel. Either way, you hear that, you hear that sound, so it's just hardly touching. What Devin says we need to do is loosen the upper and lower control arm bolts mounted to the axle itself, and then jack up the back side of the axle on that portion right there and kind of put a jack under it once you loosen the upper and lower control arm bolts and uh, just jack it up a little bit. And then once you see the angle of that drive shaft change just enough to where it no longer touches, plus a little bit more, you should be good to tighten those bolts back in and that should resolve the issue. Another thing, we are probably going to be saying goodbye to the Jeep, pretty much in terms of for video content. Um, I bought the Jeep as a test to see if goofy Jeep videos essentially you know, did any good for my viewers and people just didn't love the Jeep. I mean, there were people that were like, oh, that's cool, you know, but like a lot of people tune out for those videos of the Jeep more specifically and uh, it's just really not I guess it's just really not my pool of audience I'm probably gonna end up sending it off down to my in-laws place we own some ground just down the road from them I'm gonna be sending this down there and then probably just parking it in their barn and then using it when we go down to visit and just use this as driving over use it for like a utility type vehicle so we don't have to take the escalate in the woods because of course that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, so that's probably what we're gonna do with this thing. So for those of you who enjoyed the content on that, sorry, uh, but for those of you who didn't, it's going. And for those of you who liked the deer management work and the property work essentially at the property, our Mirai and I's property the other day, if you like that type of stuff, you like those activities, let me know down in the comment section below. I can incorporate more of that work in these videos as well. If you guys would like to see some tractor content, if you watched a previous video, you know that we're discussing picking out a tractor for this spring and all the work that we have coming up with clearing trails and putting in food plots and clearing out areas and all this other stuff. We got a lot of property work we've got to do and so we've been tossing around the idea of a tractor. We would definitely get our money out of it. I mean, we've got a lot of property work to do. Not completely decided on a tractor, but uh, hopefully we will have that decision made soon and the right opportunity arises to acquire one. We do have a new exhaust going on the silver truck as well. I'm gonna see if I can film another video actually tomorrow, if I can get some progress on that silver truck. Just trying to get this video out for you guys today so you guys have some kind of updates on the stuff that's gone on with the silver truck and you know the first gen being shipped out and stuff like that. We should have a winner called within the next seven to 14 days of the end date, which was on Monday, February 15th. So seven to 14 days from that day, we should have a winner. Um, when you're seeing this video, we should have a winner. Pretty much we are hoping within this next week. The call will be coming out of Rochester, New York. Do not fall for these scams on Facebook and Instagram, all the fake accounts pretending to be our account or somebody that works for us and telling you you want a bunch of money or a bunch of vehicles or a vehicle or cash or whatever and you gotta send them all this personal information to be able to get access to winning this vehicle or this cash that they're claiming you get to win. Uh, we do not private message you on social media. We never private message about prizes. If you won from us, you will only get a call from us. That is the only way we do it for those exact reasons because if we were to private message you, it just kinda, you know, it just kind of seems fishy when nobody can just get on the phone with you and contact you with the information you left them when you place the order on our website. It just kind of, it, it doesn't seem right anyways. There are a lot of people that fall for that stuff. Please do not, don't be a victim of that. Monday, February 22nd, 
gonna be a big surprise. Anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.